Hello and welcome everyone. It's Rebecca Davison, intuitive coach and mentor and founder of Find Your Bliss. Welcome, welcome to day nine of our Ego Detox Soul Energizer series. It's been an amazing adventure so far and it's been fantastic to see your feedback. So thank you so much for writing me emails and dropping me wee notes to let me know how this has been landing for you. Today I want to talk about money. You know, money is such a huge aspect for so many people. You know, we need it to survive and it um, activates us on so many different levels. You know, if there's one way that you want to fire up the ego, it can often be, you know, let's get some money involved. So just to give you a bit of background, you know, for 13 years I worked in one of the leading banks in New Zealand and for five years of that time I actually worked in private bank, which was for high net worth customers. So I saw a huge amount in regards to how people feel about money and how they feel that money, money determines their value. I saw a lot of people feeling powerless when it comes to money. And then I had an opportunity obviously in the private bank sector to really see how people who have money treat it and how there's almost a sense of being impartial to it to a certain extent. You know, I saw a lot of people who went, if I don't have money then I don't have any value. So, and of course it activates our scarcity, it activates our survival, you know, it's connected to the root chakra when it comes to um, our chakra system. So and the root chakra, of course, connected to the earth in regards to our primal instinct in regards to survival. So money has a huge part to play in our lives, but what can we do in regards to making money more like magic? And that's um, one of the courses I actually provide is in regards to how to make money magic. And it's to start developing a different perspective. You know, money is one of those things that's in our lives day in, day out. We're surrounded by it all the time, but it's very seldom that we take the time out to again kind of review and look at how we do our money. You know, do you, do you look at your bank statement very often? Or do you just kind of ignore it? Or you know, do you know how much money is in your bank account like right now? Do you have an idea of what's in all your bank accounts? You know, are you tidy when it comes to your paperwork around your bank accounts? Do you show your money respect? You know, it's um, you know, and the thing about money for myself now is that I just see money as energy. You know, like it's called currency for a reason. It needs to move, it needs to flow. So money will come in and then it will go out, of course, you know. So when you when you receive a bill, it's actually really a request for appreciation. You know, the universe saying, Hey, you know, you're in this situation and you know, if you're in a situation where you can afford the bill, granted it's easier to be in the energy of appreciation. But, you know, trying to be in the energy of appreciation no matter what in regards to your money. But let's kind of break it down a little bit further. You know, what some are uh, some of the intuitive tweaks that you can do in regards to your money? First and foremost, you are in relationship to your money. So your intuitive tweak that you can do today is to actually write your money a love letter. You know, maybe writing down all the times or the opportunities where you felt that you had been denied money. You know, maybe you wanted something as a child and you didn't receive it. You know, maybe you wanted a pony and you never got that experience because, you know, your parents said to you, we don't have enough money. So recognizing all the opportunities, anywhere you find I've kind of felt like let down or disappointed or upset or hurt by money, you know, anywhere you've kind of felt like money is aggressive or angry or unsettling. And I know that sounds kind of unusual, but you would just be amazed to see when we start looking at how we actually feel about money, how much of a charge it has for us. You know, there can be some really contracted energies around money. So the idea is to write to money and to express yourself and say, you know, I really felt like you weren't there for me. But through the course of the letter, when you've had the opportunity to express yourself, to write it down, is to actually ask for your relationship with money to be different. So ask for what it is that you would like. You know, of course, we all want to trust that money will be there for us. So ask money to show up for you. Ask for money to be trustworthy. Ask for money to be there with you consistently. And then maybe change the nature of the letter into more of a love letter. Because again, if you are in love with your money, then it's going to be easier to have money in your life. Now, a lot of people, you know, they hate money. So of course, does money want to be present in their energy? No, it becomes contracted, so money stays away. 
And I often see this when it comes to manifesting, that you know, the more that you're in a higher frequency and you're loving life and you're in the energy of joy and openness and expression, then the easier it is for money to come into your life. <clears throat> you know, there's so many opportunities I could share with you in regards to working with clients and they have surprised themselves in regards to what is possible to manifesting money. I've had numerous circumstances myself where I've just been totally blown away by the opportunity to manifest money and in large sums as well. So really just looking into what is possible for you when it comes to your relationship with money, really looking into the fact that money is uh, something that you're in relationship with. So how do you want that relationship to be? You know, really engaging in the communication skills that you have around money. When you think about money, making sure that you're sending it positive, high vibrational energy, you know, blessing your wallet, blessing your mailbox, blessing your laptop, because they're all portals in which money can come to you. Blessing other people when you go out into the world, because again, money flows through those people and to you. So really recognizing that if you're in a relationship with money, what does that relationship look like? And how can you change it and take those action steps to write that letter? Now I appreciate that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to money, but that's probably a really good place to start to kind of actually go, hey, what is my relationship with money like and how can I change it? How can I bring it to the energy of what it is that I want to be? You know, how can I try on that coat of being that multimillionaire and feel completely comfortable and at home with that level of energy? Because you know, if you want big money in your life, then you need to be in big energy. That's how it works. So that's your intuitive tweak for today. I hope you enjoy that. Sending you lots of love and high vibrations and I'll look forward to connecting with you again tomorrow. Bye for now.